truck is a runner. Okay, so the GMC is back. Uh, and I made a really, really cool friend in the process. Uh, Gorilla Carburetors right here. Uh, I had a lot going on with the cut list, some other projects, and I've been working a lot. So I kind of just called it. I was like, I don't think I can do this with the, with the truck right now. I, it's, I was flustered, everybody that I talked to about it was flustered. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna. T I thought it was a carburation issue, uh, which it kind of was. But I took it to Gorilla Carburetors, Chuck, and uh, he figured it out. He got it. All I said was, "Hey, man, I just want it usable." Which, obviously, I mean, it's you know usable. It's it's usable, and it runs way better than it ever has. But there's still some stuff to be done to it. But. In this video, we're just gonna get a couple of miles on her, probably put the hood back on and the bumper, and uh, we might even take the canopy off, but you guys will see. You guys will see, because I don't even know yet. So, uh, yeah, come kick with us while we take a load of garbage to the dump in a truck that is borderline something that shouldn't be parked and left there. I just realized that there's no hood. Or front bumper. Or front bumper. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're riding dirty right now. Allegedly. See that? Well, I covered my tracks. <laughs> to the gas station with only two big pops but after the pop she comes right back so everything's fine but the bottom line is we made it to the gas station I'm not uber stressed out about it uber. all right first time filling the death tank the one behind the seat uh, since rebuilding the engine without a gas can. <laughs> it's pretty cool. My truck works, kind of. Uh, might end up picking up a different carburetor later, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna put a bunch of fuel in it. I'm thinking maybe it's leaning out periodically, like it's getting some air in the lines. The pickup is just not, you know, fully submerged because we had like two weird backfires. Not weird, just, you know, lean into it too hard. It, but at part throttle for a second, it was popping pop, 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 pretty regularly. So at some point, it's probably pick up plugs, blah, blah, blah. But we made it. 
and I'm getting gas in my truck. And hopefully we can make it to the dump and get all this crap out of the back and we can see what this truck looks like without a bunch of stuff on the back half. Stuffed. Checking for leaks. Guess in the comments how much that was. Pause the video. Guess in the comments how much fuel this truck just took. <laughs> you done guessing? Okay. Um, 19.9 gallons at a whopping $111. I keep reaching for the shoulder belt. <laughs> getting coffee in the truck this is always like the goal it works if you can get coffee in it period take that to the bank this thing is she heavy with 20 gallons of fuel in her what if she'll just run better now <laughs> sorry good i'm off kilter we got coffee look at the chihuahua he doesn't like my truck Something about Jesus? There's a little thing that says something about Jesus. Nineteen seventy-three. That's neat. In grade five. Didn't take 
play foreign language or instrumental music. Not surprising, Philip. Not surprising. That was some heavy shit in there. All right, his fourth report, he got an A minus in spelling. He's doing great. <laughs> That was 73. 73 to 74. San Mateo, California. Oh, science, Philip. Feels up or? No. Yo, all this stuff in the back was not being friendly to this truck. Sorry, I'm listening to it. Yeah, it's making a lot of noises. Okay, but like listening to it like bad or good? No, like good. I was just trying to figure out what you were talking about with the transmission, that noise. Yeah, just like the like it's really whiny. Okay, that's what it, it should be quieter ideally, but it is a turbo 400, so it's a big heavy duty gnarly transmission. So, I don't know. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. Somebody designed a cup holder for this. Um, thank you. Okay, we got the receipt. I don't even know how much I paid actually now that I think about it, but we know the weight of the truck. So we're gonna get to see how much we actually dumped out of the back of it. <clears throat> I feel like I'm in drive, but we have weight. Check it. <laughs> it feels like a truck now. I mean, it felt like a truck before, but it feels more like a truck than it did. She's lean. Not just because she's hot. We're looking at like, off throttle, we're looking at mid to high 11s, 12s. On the brakes, okay, yeah. I'm thinking it might be a fuel pressure thing, but I don't know. We'll have to ask Gorilla to get his opinion on it. Yes! Thank you, Chuck. The truck works. It just works. We have our truck back now. Oh, we're so close to burnouts. You guys don't even realize. We're like, I think I'll take the canopy off first probably, but <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to see. <laughs> oh gosh. Yes, hell yes. I just got to see, I just, the, those people in that Jetta were stoked about this truck. This truck is rad. It's got an eight and a half foot bed and a 402 in it. Doesn't have a hood or a bumper right now. That's probably why most people are looking at us, but that's a win. I'll count it as a win. Okay, so she doesn't have stuff in the back. She sounds a lot happier. I'm gonna do a little pull. Approximately 600 pounds of crap in the back. 
because it was 6,000 6, pounds on the nose when we rolled on that scale the first time. 54.20 when we pulled off. Still no blinkers. Uh, that hasn't remedied itself yet. Oh, the steering wheels. Pretty judgmental. Wow. Braking miles now. We're just doing braking miles, so I probably shouldn't do that a whole lot, actually. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. The truck runs, it functions. Oh, we have a truck now. Now we can start cranking out this content on the truck and start building it into the what I truly want it to be, which is which is pretty low and really fast. And a tow rig. Hell yes. Oh. Bitchin'. Manto bene. So I see, now I know how to find reverse. Hell yeah. Wow, this canopy is literally gonna crumble at some point. I just watched it slide like three inches. <laughs> Take a hammer to it. Hell yeah, babe. Yeah, heck yeah. Come on. We got a truck now. Booyah. What? Right there. Yes. Come <laughs> on. Yes, dude. All right, we are back. And I didn't even have to use my fire extinguisher. What's all this fluid? Is our master cylinder leaking? Are you kidding me? Yeah, you can smell it a little bit. Brake fluid, no, it's that bien. That's not good. That's not what you want. You know what I do want? To celebrate my truck being good. Look at it, in all of its glory. I mean, you guys have already seen it, but. Oh. You know what, actually? I think we're gonna call that a video. So, thank you guys for watching. The GMC is back. She's back, ready to rock and roll. Uh, but before we get any really good stuff, I gotta get rid of these wheels and get rid of this canopy and put this truck back together. So next step, minor beautification. Um, you know, making it look like street legal. More so than it already is. Right on. Hell yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, once again, just hit a thousand subscribers, so cannot thank you guys enough. I think I have enough vehicles here. Um, yeah. Everybody take it easy. Have a good night. And uh, catch you in the next one. Tell your friends. We're getting... We're going to dial in the chassis, and eventually this thing's going to have so much power and Tire shredding goodness. Don't be late to the party. You know what I mean? Anyways, whatever. It's only been forever, so. Peace! Is that bad? <laughs> oh, who is she? <laughs>